What's the lamest way that you injured yourself badly? I refused to take off a band-aid when I was around 6 years old. It got infected and they almost had to amputate my leg. I broke my arm just riding my bike on flat ground. I saw a shiny rock and turned my head to look at it and fell over. Dropped a chair on my face. Still got the scar 20 years later. One semi-loud sneeze. Popped a vessel in my nose. Had to go to the hospital because it bled like a faucet. I stepped off a curb coming out of a movie theater and rolled my ankle. I ended up fracturing a bone in my foot that required surgery. I was on crutches for about six months. Oh hey, I have two. I broke my hand attempting to punch my brother. Threw a weak fist, he blocked with his arm, and I broke the bone on the side of my right hand. I broke my clavicle after riding my bike into my dog in our driveway and flipping over the handlebars. I tore a muscle in my shoulder blade master batting. Edit, why is this my most top rated comment? Not me but a friend got drunk and punched a brick wall full force to prove how tough he was. The resulting damage to his hand left him permanently unable to fully close it. At the time he was very drunk and preaching about how harmful weed is because it destroys your body. Not me but one of my teachers in high school tripped on his sword and stabbed his leg. Had to go to the ER. Coming from a lactose intolerant person, eating copious amounts of dairy to the point where I she eyes my organs out then pass out on the bathroom floor, then subsequently wake up with a small piece of my fork missing. Was trying to drive a nail vertically into a pencil, ended up driving it into my hand instead. This just happened like 5 days ago. I was taking a dump peacefully in my restroom and my daughter has a small wooden stool she uses to reach the counters and get on the toilet. I thought to myself, backslash well. The amount of times I kicked myself in the balls while trying to remove my socks is way too high. I have a giant scar on my ankle from shaving my legs drunk. Threw my back out sneezing. Told my boss slash co-workers I was helping my mom move something heavy because it was so embarrassingly lame. Threw my back out taking a she eyes. One time I had a thought process that didn't end logically. I was horny, and I thought, vaginas are good because they are warm. Fire is warm. A big fire is too warm. A little fire is little warm. I have a small lighter, I will put that to my penis. I burned my penis. By climbing a tree and just standing there and somehow slip and break my legs. It had cold and it had been raining and I was seven. I tried to pee off the side of the hot tub because I was jealous that my brother and his friends could do it, I'm female. I slipped and cracked open my chain on concrete. I was headed to the laundry room in my apartment building, and decided to walk down the icy steps in flip-flops. I slipped, landed all 350 pounds of my then self on the edge of a step just above my left butt cheek. This resulted in a fractured pelvis and nerve damage, both of which still bother me from time to time 16 years later. Stepping from one level surface to another while gardening, rolled my ankle so hard that that horrible sensation of wrongness alone almost made me throw up. Had to crawl into the house, full foot and calf turned purple and I was on crutches slash no driving for months. Not me and not sure if this counts but my cousin broke his finger on a bouncy castle. Burned the tip of my donk with a death nail. I got a paper cut on my foot by walking past an open book. Tried to impress a girl I had a crush on in fourth grade. Told her I can jump over her, jumped, get my head on a door frame, had a concussion the next day. I stepped down off a truck bed and rolled my ankle. Broke three bones, tore ligaments, tendons, and one muscle. Out of work for six weeks. I was 8 years old when I slipped in the bathroom and broke my front tooth on Christmas Day. It was already crooked to start with but it snapped of about half of my tooth, so we had to find a dentist who was willing to check that I hadn't. When I was little I lived with my mom in a ranch house, and the whole house had this long and narrow hallway that ran through it. I thought it would be funny to run straight at my mom and me. I punched my headboard. Direct hit. Beautiful technique, alignment of the wrist was pristine and contact was make on the first two knuckles. Still broke. Shaving my legs without paying attention. I ended up shaving off the skin on the back of my ankle. Colon left parenthesis. Fell down one flight of stairs like going down a slide, fractured my tailbone. Thought it was just a really bad bruise and walked it off for one month before I thought of getting an x-ray. 
even did foot drill before I found out. Also chased after the ex-president when he was jogging at the beach, fell and scrapped my knees, got his attention, got up and said hi. Taking out the trash. Slipped on some ice and blew my knee out. I broke my nose while opening the fridge, I was sleepy and stood too close, that's when I stopped the habit of night snacking. I cut off a pimple on my face with a dirty knife, I ended up getting infected and the entire right side of my face bloated up with pus, gradually, in. I got injured by a screen door. Early one morning I was taking my dog, Snoopy, outside to use the bathroom and I guess he had to got really bad, so, he started flying down the stairs of the back porch right after I opened the door. He was on a leash and I didn't want to hurt him and make him fall down the stairs, so I rushed out behind him. I was wearing a pair of wool socks and slippers and as I awkwardly started following him, the bottom corner of the screen door clipped me on the heel. It hurt a bit and I just limped around as he did his business. When I got back inside I decided to take my sock off because it was uncomfortably hurting and I see there is a good amount of blood that has seeped through the sock. I pull it off and see that I actually have a pretty big dash across the back of my ankle. A shisty screen door fricked me up, all because of bad timing. Here is a picture of the gash the next day dot right square bracket left parenthesis https colon slash slash i dot more dot com slash gth to slv dot apg Don't underestimate screen doors, they can hurt you. Sliced my hand open trying to trim my toenails with tiny scissors on vacation. Many years ago, married 24 years now, my husband and I were goofing around play fighting, Eve. I bumped my head into another child while on a trampoline. She was fine but I had to get stitches. I was like 10 or 11 maybe. I dislocated my shoulder multiple times high-fiving, and twice getting out of bed. I thought the glowing sand under the disposable BBQ would be cool to touch, it was not cool in the slightest. I fainted and shattered my foot, by just getting out of bed. Seriously, got up and went to the bathroom, felt that wah 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 feeling, grabbed the bottle of water then crumpled, unconscious, in front of my fridge in my own apartment. I'd just moved in, didn't even have furniture and had been sleeping on a bedroll till I could pick up my stuff. I broke three metatarsals clean through, two chip fractures, resulted in two plates and twelve screws, didn't walk for almost six months. Edit, word. Taking pizza rolls out of the oven. I touched the heating element and gave myself a second degree burn on my thumb. Got knocked over by a five year old, getting my head on a table and breaking my wrist in the process, I wish I was joking. In the dark I ran into a clothesline, fell backwards onto the ground, and had a concussion. When I was like six I was holding open one of those dressers where it's basically just a box with open able top on it. Well, the top was very heavy. As I was choosing my shirt for the day my hand slipped and it like destroyed my left middle and ring fingers nails. There's also the story of how I got my leg ran over by a car because I decided not to listen to my mom when I was like 4 years old. But that's a story for another time. Fell on a plastic bucket. It shattered and went through my cheek. On the bright side I got a cool joker scar from it. I walk on my feet all day every day. Now I have a really bad case of plantar fasciitis and before I started getting treatment I could barely walk. New arched supports, new boots and 6 months later and now I only have problems when I first get up. It could take over a year to fully heal. In third grade or so I stood behind some guy while playing hockey. As he took a swing with the hockey bat I got cut in the face and one of my front teeth broke in half and the nerve was damaged. That is also the reason why I have now. 5 years later braces. Tripped over a pillow, the door was right open though so I ended up cutting half of my ear in half. Slipped of a curb, fractured my foot in two places. Not a fun few weeks. Playing ticket or tag if you're American and ran into a metal pole. Split my head open, blood everywhere and required multiple stitches. Now I have a scar on my forehead, kinda looks like an exclamation mark cause it leads to a mole at the bottom was dropping a ceiling in an apartment complex for HVAC ductwork. I had safety washes on that had a mild tint. I couldn't see well with them on for one mail I had to drive. It was new construction so there was no lights in the building. Took the washes off and the second swing of the hammer sent the mail straight into my right eye. What a stupid way to lose an eye. 
not drunk as Frick and tripped over a literal crack in the pavement, landing awkwardly and busting my clavicle into a multiple piece. My friends carried me home, which of course lifted the smashed clavicle to a degree solidly over 90, and chalked up my beast dish growls to being too drunk. Woke up the next day on a flimsy mattress behind the couch in my parents' living room. To this day I do not know why they dragged out an old mattress instead of just dropping me on the couch. I was washing my face and I pulled my neck musical so back I had to lay in bed all day and couldn't work my next two shifts. One white parenthesis cutting open an avocado with a dull knife. Ended up cutting open my pinky. First and only stitches. The fat under the skin was cool to see though no long. To write parenthesis rollerblading with a friend years later. Skates no longer fitted right and rubbed my left ankle but I kept skating for like an hour. Got home. Took off the skates. Huge chunk of skin missing. Three right parenthesis running with a friend on a bike path. Road construction workers had built a boardwalk covering 90% of the path. So there. I was on holiday in France when I was about 10 and we were in a patisserie and the oven was right next to where you paid for your things. I said to my mom, me. I was about 10 to 11 and trying to allure my goats to go back in their pen with a little scoop of grain. The alpha don't knock the grain out of my hand. I got so mad that I stopped my foot. It. It. Got my foot stuck in a couch completely dislocated it. I sprained my jaw, yes that's apparently possible, by going down on a girl, hurt to eat anything for a month. I didn't end up being badly injured but at the time I thought I was going to die. At my grandparents, my brother and I made a makeshift swing out of a tow rope and a random board when we were pretty young. We couldn't control the height of the swing very well because the limb we wrapped the rope around was thick, so the swing was high enough that we had to do a jump and pull combo to get into. At one point the rope broke while I was in the seat and I fell flat on my back. I had never had the wind knocked out of me before and when that happens you physically cannot breath for a bit. I thought I broke a rib or something and it pierced my lung so I couldn't inhale, not how that actually works, but I was young. I thought was going to suffocate on the ground while my brother was standing over my telling me to not be a baby. Brother cut his hand on a loaf of bread. I injured my eye quite badly putting safety gouaches on too quickly, by jamming the arm into my eye. Ooh, I have one for this. I tripped on a rock, fell backwards, landed funny, and dislocated my freaking shoulder. Some ashdonk in preschool thought it'd be funny to close a huge metal door on my hand. So fun. Tried reenacting a Tom and Jerry scene where Tom screams out the window. I tripped and hit my face on the aluminum window frame. Still have a big scar on my nose to this day. I was drunk and broke my nose walking into a butter knife that was left sticking out of a door frame. It was placed there because the younger children kept locking the door. Yes dot 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 it went on on big big. Literally any time I stub my toe I am unable to function because of a tiny incident. Phone call gave me a contusion. I had my bed up on stilts, like bunk beds but with no lower bunk. My computer desk was underneath. I was not accustomed to receiving phone calls. Someone called me and woke me up. It startled me, and I fell out of bed. I landed asterisk on my chest asterisk across the back of the hard, rigid wooden chair. Severe pain for two weeks, but only when I breathe. Asterisk left parenthesis brothy question mark right parenthesis asterisk. Stabbed myself in the hand with a steak knife trying to pry frozen pepper off a pizza. I could have just taken it off after microwaving it. Get a yoga ball with a metal baseball bat and it bounced back up and hit my head which broke my nose. I burned my eyeball with boiling water making tea. Was eating with a metal fork. Missed my mouth and slashed my cheek. The cut wasn't very deep but the humiliation was... Was once cutting pants into shorts. While I was wearing them. With a 7 inch knife. It got caught on the seam. I pulled and stabbed myself in the thigh. It... I jokingly made a B. Just celebrated my leg break anniversary. On the 9th it was 12 years ago I suffered a compound and fib fracture. It was a Saturday night my hubby and I decided to stay in and watched some of the 08 Summer Olympics. My phone range I took one step from getting out of my recliner and it just broke. In those nanoseconds I knew what had happened before I even looked down at my leg. 
My husband looked at me and asked what was that it sounded like a jet for breaking. Surgery required to place a bar through my tibia from knee to ankle, screws included, seven days in hospital, in a wheelchair for two months and four more months using a walker. That's what we get for staying home on a Saturday night. I was an angsty teen and just had a bad breakup. I was obsessed with running at this point, but for this night, I made a specific playlist on my iPod to get my bee. I got out of the sauna with my kids at my house, and I was like hey look, I'll do a forward roll in the snow like I used to do when I trained martial arts. Except it was winter and the ground was frozen solid under a couple inches of snow, and I weighed like 230 pounds now not 180 pounds. The clavicle detached from the rest of my shoulder and I had to get an operation with three pins to hold it back. I was sitting down for a long time in a funny position, barefoot. The lower part of my left leg was dead asleep and I decided to wake it up I should stand up and shake it. I stood up, the foot rolled, which I didn't. In high school I was walking down the hallway with my shoulder brushing against the lockers, walking towards a friend who was opening their locker. They didn't see me and as I approached them they opened the locker door and it hit me in the face and broke my nose. I shut my head in the car door. I was going to be smooth and get into my car at the same time I was shutting the door, all in one swift motion. But I wasn't swift, and my head didn't make it into the car in time. Working in a kitchen for several years without a knife injury. The thing that finally got me bad, the lid to a tin can, sliced my thumb deep. I used to lift pretty heavy but I got lazy and stopped working out for a while. My first week back in the gym I felt great, and on leg day I decided to hit the squat rack. My 5 rm 4 back squat used to be 315 pounds, but I knew I wouldn't. I turned around. Straight up just calmly turned around, not even fast. But I was on tile in my pool house and it was damp. Not even wet from people swimming, just humidity on tile damp. Left leg twisted and went even more left. Right leg folded under me. At first I didn't think it was that bad. It was horrible. Couldn't walk at all for two days. Barely for for a week. Finally was pain free a month later. I know it's not life threatening but frick. I turned around. I slipped a disc taking a tray of bread out the oven when I was a baker. Three loaves of bread on a tray weighing roughly two and a half kilos. Out on my back for three weeks in the middle of July. I was about eight years old and was at my buddy's house. My mom told me that morning not to do anything dumb since we didn't. 